Good morning, Boulder Mountain. My name is Joseph Janowitz. I'm a fellow brother in Christ and a relatively newer member at Boulder Mountain. For those of you who were with us last Sunday, last service, you know that we've been slowly working our way through the book of Genesis this month and really capitalizing and reviewing some key points in the early parts of creation where God the Father literally began to speak into existence the creation of the earth, of the universe, and the heavens, and all that is on the earth, the livestock and the waters. He began to shape it. And we'll be diving deeper into the book of Genesis this month and, and into the amazing origin of God's word. Uh, I just wanted to take a moment, since we're at the halfway point in the week, congratulations, you all made it, uh, setting aside any worries and distractions and really focusing on a blessing that the Lord has given us, and that is a day of rest. I pray everyone's week is going smoothly, and I know sometimes it can feel so difficult getting from one Sunday to the next. It's tiring. You face work, family tasks, and I'll be honest, I get tired. You know, it's normal. You can admit that we are meant to get tired. Um, Genesis chapter 2 says, So the creation of heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation, so he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because it was the day when he rested from all his work in creation. So God establishes the Sabbath. He takes a break. takes a sabbatical. You know, goes on vacation. Now, um, now do I really think God needed a break? No, of course not. He is the almighty sovereign Lord who created heaven and earth. And he never stops working, never stops moving. And he has shown us time and time again. He's never stopped showing his care and love for all in the Bible. Um, I do believe he spent his day of rest admiring his creation. And I think he instituted it, setting an example as for how we're supposed to live. Because he understands man. And he knows us better than we know ourselves. And he knows that man has limitations. So God institutes a day of rest that we are supposed to relax and really separate ourselves from the prior week. Now, I know in the New Testament, the Sabbath, it's a very big deal. It's always been throughout the entire Bible. And Jesus and his disciples, they would take a day, the Sabbath, and spend it with family and friends. They would gather together. They would break bread and share a meal. And they would separate themselves and rest from the labors of of the prior week. It's a big deal. It's important. And God understands that and he knows that. And the Sabbath should be a day designated to spending with family. You should separate work, all the errands, all of the the things of the week. Leave that for the next week. You should really set aside a day of rest that is designated for God, faith, and family. You know, read the Bible, relax, call upon the name of the Lord and seek his peace. He will grant it to you. You know, and it, it is okay to, to kick your shoes off and sit on the couch and take a nap on that day. You know, it's a day of rest. So God institutes a day of rest for humanity because as a loving Heavenly Father, He knows that for the flesh it is essential and for the soul it is mandatory. So I encourage you this Sunday, this Sabbath, to really absorb the gift that God has given us. To take a day to remember the sacrifice Jesus made so that we can all still be in relationship with God today. To enjoy the blessing of peace and comfort that he grants all of us. John 14, 27 says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. So, you know, if you're if you're facing any afflictions, or you're facing anything that's troubling you this week, you know, I'll be praying for you. And I, I hope you get through it. You will, I know you will. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all next Sunday. And um, just know that God institutes a day of rest. Know that your day of relaxation and your day of basking in the Lord's creation, whether that be outside or with communion at church, is coming. It's coming up. So I just, I really encourage you all to call upon the name of the Lord and give him thanks for being a God who has always made us his priority and our will being his mission. May the Lord bless you all, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. God bless you.